In this tutorial, you'll learn how to create a script or use some scripts, pre-made scripts, to make a race sort of timer thing in Unity. So if I once I um, enter this start um, patch, um, it will start a timer up the top here on the left, and it will finish when I run through the checkered. So here's the demo. Whoops, it started. So I'm going to start again. I'll go through, started the timer, finished. So you can use this template on these scripts to maybe make a maze or something and use the start as a to start a timer and to finish the timer to see how fast um, people can go through your maze or your map or something like that. That'd be pretty cool. The only problem is that you have to actually touch the pads, so it's a bit like baseball. Let's get started. I'm going to start a new project or a new scene. And I'll just save this one just in case I need it for later. So this is my timer run running script. Okay. So this is what yours will look like. I'll also get rid of these. Because you'll have those to import. So my first step is going to be I need somewhere to walk on. So I'm going to bring in my terrain. I'm going to quickly resize my terrain. Obviously this is going to look a lot different to yours. You might have obstacles, um, all sorts of stuff in your map. Then I'm just going to put down my first person controller. Let's zoom in here. Just chuck him in the middle. I'll zoom in on him as well and move him just above the map. So if I push play, he doesn't go through the map and I can walk around. Okay. Done. Now. We need, this is how easy it is, we need these pre-made two scripts and I just got these off uh, Google Images. You can, get, you can make your own even in Photoshop, but that's just for the skins on the blocks that you will um, trigger these scripts to run with. So in my assets folder, go back to my assets folder, I'm just gonna drag those things in, those assets, make them available and when we are going to simply drag both the control timer and the timer script onto the first person controller, just onto the top there, not onto its child um, element, onto the top. And you can tell if you've done it right because they'll appear here in the inspector window. Next thing we've got to do is, because if we push play now, nothing's going to happen we need to have the label for the text to appear. So we're going to go to Game Object, we are going to go to our UI menu and we want text. Now if we click on Game, the Game View, we can see that the text is in the middle of the screen. So if we push Play, nothing's going to happen yet, but you'll see why. But we want this text, it's going to follow the screen, but we want it, we want it up here at the top left. So Let's go back to my scene view and we're going to select this text and we're going to call it timer text and we're going to align it using this up here. So actually we'll go back to game view and we'll go, we we'll click on this and we'll hold down shift and option and then click on this top left and it places the text up there. The next thing we've got to do is give it some padding because it's way up jammed up in the corner there. So we're going to go to its uh, X and Y position and we're going to say we want it 10 out and probably 10 down, so negative 10. And you can see now it's, it's given 10 pixels from each edge in just to give it a bit more padding. You can also give it a 
Uh, default text, so before we start, it'll just say timer. And now, if we push play, it'll be up in that corner, nice and neat, ready for us. So, now we need to bring in some objects for our starting. Let's find out where our man is. So he's facing this way. Uh, so we'll face, we'll put our we'll just quickly put our objects here. So we want a 3D object. We want two cubes to start off with. One cube for the start, and another cube for the finish, because these are the cubes that we're going to stand on. Now I'm going to flatten those cubes just by using the um, this tool. What is it called? The like the transform tool, it's similar to the transform tool in Photoshop. I'm just going to make it flat using the Y axis and I'm going to do the same for this one. Again these shapes can be different things, it can be a block, You might in your game it might be that you need to touch a side of a building or something. So these are above the map I can see. So I'm going to zoom out slightly and make sure that they're lined up at the bottom. I'm going to select them both and then bring them down till they just touch the ground. Right there. Okay. I'll bring my first person controller back slightly. And this is what the finish line checkered thing is for and the these this start line uh, image. So all I have to do now is drag those onto those items and I'll spin this one around so it faces the right way. And now they should be able to be seen and not go through the map or anything like that. Perfect. We need to now rename them. So this one is which one is this one? That's the start. So I'm going to call this start race. And the finish line is going to be called finish race. And we need to now just double check in our script. So we'll go to control timer. We'll open that up. Just double click it. It will open up in mono develop. This is what the script looks like. So when we hit, this is what the script is saying. If we hit our first pe person controller steps on the start race object, it's going to set the timer and the timer is going to start. If we hit the finish, it's going to set it to zero, which means stop the timer. So in our other script, our race script, sorry, our timer script, this is where all the timer stuff happens. But we have to... Um, set the label to show what's going on here. So that's the next thing we'll do. Remember our label down here, our time and text label, we have to select our first person controller and we have to put or set the timer label here. So without clicking again, just hold down and drag the timer text to the timer label. And now everything should start working. If I walk over this, the timer started. If I walk over this, the timer will stop. There you go, finished.